Hey, what's going on guys? Devin here with Backcountry Exposure. We're talking first aid kits today because I just recently, yesterday in fact, went through my first aid kit, made some significant changes to it to downsize my kit to make it a little bit smaller in size as well as less weight so that it is pretty much the perfect weekend type of first aid kit for what I like to use with the training that I have as a wilderness first responder. All right, so here is everything laid out that is in this particular kit. And I will say straight up right now because there are a few items that I would like to add to this that are not necessarily here or represented. And that would be something like for any kind of like diabetes to have some kind of sugar in this particular kit, cell tablets, electrolytes, as like an emergency kind of thing, as well as I need some kind of writing utensil for my soap note that I've got here. So this is the bag that I'm using. It's just a, a DIY bag. I've got two soap notes in here that I uh, just always have had in my, in my bag. And then I'm using this little plastic bag as a secondary bag to keep everything dry in case this gets wet because the seams on this Dyneema bag are not sealed. Let's talk about my blister kit stuff here first. I've got two blister pads. These are just medicated pads basically that once I develop a blister, this will uh, be put on at the end of the day and then worn through the next day to help alleviate the pain and hopefully help that blister heal. Now something that I carry that is different from what several people carry is I don't have Luco tape here in this particular kit. And I've never really been one that enjoyed Luco tape. I would much rather carry KT tape. And so I've got three strips of KT tape that I use and I can cut these in half. I can put them on for blister management. In fact, when I did a trip with my wife, KT tape was the lifesaver for her heels in the shoes that she was wearing for the trip that we were on. Then I've got some pre-cut moleskin. I've got some fabric tape that is uh, pretty handy. And then for severe blisters, some second skin, which I can then use for inside of the donut that I then cover with KT tape. So first aid kit is very much also a robust blister kit. Here across the top, I've got just a standard assortment of band-aids, not an excessive amount, just enough to get through like a weekend trip. Then I've got acetaminophen, ibuprofen, I've got a antihistamine, aspirin, and what's missing from here is an anti-diarrheal that uh, I normally carry with me as well. And then I've got just antibiotic ointment, afterbite, and then some alcohol prep wipes. Then I've got a like two inch by two inch type of gauze pad and then a three inch by three inch gauze pad. And then for any kind of like nasty laceration that I might get from carrying a knife in the backcountry, I'm gonna carry these transparent semi-permeable films that I can put over a cut after I get it taken care of. And I've got these steri strips to be able to close any kind of really severe kind of cut that may need stitches, but I can't and wouldn't go to a doctor immediately. So I can use these transparent semi-permeable dressings to help keep uh, infection out, but allow the wound and everything to breathe the way that it's supposed to. For various reasons, I've got a large safety pin. I've got a small, thin piece or roll of athletic tape. Then we get into some of these other like specialty kind of items that are gonna be like my irrigation syringe. So I'm using this primarily to irrigate wounds that would be associated with this kind of application. But it is really smart to protect yourself against any kind of infection at any time by using a irrigation syringe. So for the I mean, it takes up a lot of space in your kit, but it's so important and it makes such a difference in protecting the wounds, keeping them safe. This is a pair of trauma shears, which have already come in handy in many ways for cutting KT tape, as well as if I ever find myself in a situation where I need to splint something and I need to cut fabric, then for the, I don't know, one ounce of weight that these are, very necessary in my opinion. I've got a pair of nitrile gloves that are just obviously important. 
a small roll of gauze, and then I've got some Q-tips here, a pair of tweezers, and then a little bottle, one-time use thing of benzoin tincture. And what this is, is basically like tree sap that is, it allows for things to stay sticky. So if I'm in a situation that I need something to stick really well, which for the most part, these transparent semi-permeable dressings, I will use benzoin tincture to be able to help that stay in place for a long period of time. Then a couple last things, I've got a anti-chafe little wipe here. This is also from KT Tape. And then not necessarily associated to first aid, but I keep it in the first aid kit because it just works to have it in the kit. Like it makes sense for me to have it in there. And that is just some patches, gear aid patches, tenacious tape for my uh, sleeping pad, my tent and things because I don't really carry like a patch kit otherwise for my my gear and so I keep that in there. And what I also don't put in my first aid kit is hygiene items. So I don't have my toothbrush and wipes and anything like that that would have any kind of potential of contaminating any of these items even though they're all packaged and whatnot. I wanna keep all of that stuff separate. So there you go, my friends. My six ounce weekend focused first aid kit for solo trips or just when I'm out with one or two other people. Hope you enjoyed that. If you have questions about first aid kits or first aid in general, please feel free to ask those down in the comments section. I'd be curious if there's anything that you would change or add or subtract to this particular kit that would fit your needs differently. And uh, yeah, let me know. So thanks for watching guys. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. Hope you're doing well right now and taking care of yourselves, staying healthy. You guys are awesome. Appreciate you. Have a good day. We'll catch you on the next video. See you later.